What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome back to more Broken Sword. So I went through the sewers and I came out right here. So let's go uh let's go talk to this guy. Shouldn't have recorded this, but last week. But how well, because there's a lot of questions I need to ask this guy. So we can talk to him. Hi there, remember me? Oh, <laughs> how could I forget? But the man with the uh, sewer obsession. It's not an obsession. I just like the ambiance. I like his humor. Okay, many things to tell me ask about. The about. Man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> just like you. A foreigner? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed. The man who died. Bay. I'm gonna find the guy responsible. I'll find it, even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. <laughs> ah, you need some <laughs> sensible boots. You won't get far with those uh, stupid sneakers. Do you know the waitress at the okay, cafe? Okay, this dude. Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you <laughs> I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. He's still rude, but he's jokey about Was it. What about this briefcase? Carrying a briefcase? I, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going okay. to leave? Or do I have to call the police? Well, I've got some things to ask you. What about you this? this I am not telling you anything. Why is he being rude all of a sudden? What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, disgusting. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied <laughs> their nostrils into it. <laughs> Take a look. What about this clown nose? nose? I've never seen it before in my life. Bit suspicious. How about this business like card? Look at my card. Mm -hmm. What is this? Is that your card? Inspector Augustin Rosso. What does that say? Uh, Army Noid Division. A homicide. Homicide. I smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I like. Why have we got this card? I'm sorry. Don't apologize, Monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something oh. different about you. It is Interesting. Your, posture, your, your poise. Oh, yes. Your there posse. is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my land in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Let's start over from the beginning and tell it okay. just like it was. Okay, now I'm gonna go for everything again. Tell me about the man you what about this clown? Oh, he was a mean one, Monsieur. He grabbed me in an hour. Okay. His face suddenly next to mine. His God damn it, Ring, go away. Like but he did not know what he was up against. Oh no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes. Oh I shit. Get the picture. Does the name. Well, Plantard, do you know him now? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I care about the, the lady. The cafe? So you don't want to hear about my experiences in the desert? I fought to make this country what it is today. I'm sure you did, but <laughs> I'm a little right. short of time. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? You, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, sir. I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work. Has he totally forgotten that I was carried away? Oh no, that's someone else. Never mind. Seven months ago, I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? Is she your eye candy? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there. Oh, mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? That's pretty grim. Okay, did you see him carrying, a, carrying briefcase? a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. 
Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. I think it was important the documents. thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> The reason why is because the game is called Shadows of the Templar. We're not looking for a killer here. Right, what well, can you tell me about this cat cloth? Mean anything to you. Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize it pattern anywhere. Okay. How about this handkerchief with a paint on it? Oh, we miss you. I love George. It's like, hey, look at this tissue. It's like <laughs> five minutes later. Hey, I've been shooting this before. Like, yes, Take yes, you have. Look at this clown nose. nose. Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he, or he dumped you it. to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you up this Framing? Yeah. Uh, I don't think our items are very much important. Now, but you, de you never know. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> Where? Because otherwise, it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name okay. inside, on the label. Brilliant. Can you tell me more about Where the jacket then, please, the jacket? sir? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything more information? in the jacket pockets? Not as soon. You know what I think? Do tell me. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. <laughs> hmm. No. <laughs> Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. <laughs> you got me what serious, right? on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Leek. Todd Leek. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only... A telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember Ooh. the phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's wow. the phone number? Yes, that is a little stupid number that I learned in the data. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg ship. That's incredible. Okay. <laughs> it comes in and here at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward. Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. I have to be going. Okay, thank you, Fizan. Thanks son. to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer <laughs> soon. What a buffoon. What an absolute buffoon. Anyway, we have a number to ring. <clears throat> Am I going to remember the number? Okay, I could tell... Shall I ring Nico Kalad? Um... Probably? Uh, I mean, I could... Let's ring Todrick first, and then we can ring Nico Kalad. Hello? Who is this? Hi, my name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart, I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No, no, that's not possible. Oh, okay, uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Ah, oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, oh. Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. No? All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Do you know anyone about a clown, perhaps? What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Verte? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're saying that to make me think you don't know what I mean, but... Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Why are we pushing you know the clown so much on him? No, 
I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. I expect Keep pushing. Plantar's a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't <laughs> wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Only tonight... Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy, huh? The faithful puppy dog, waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know, Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. <laughs> None of this has anything to do with me. It has you to know be. That one back of to the clown. was a part-time clown. If a guy feels happy with a funny nose and custard down his pants, what's the problem? Thanks for nothing, okay, fair enough. You pushed a little bit too much on that one there, George. I don't think you know how to talk to people about interrogationing. How about Nico Kalad? We can talk to her again, though, right? Nico Kalad. Bonjour, Kula. It's me again, George Stobart. Hi, George. Any news? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Look, why don't you come here to my apartment? Fine. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come right over. Rue Jarry. Hell yeah. What about the dude who's taking over this place? I can't exactly leave it be though, can I? Nah, yeah, I'll leave. I don't know if there's anything I'm missing over here, but I think I'm good. I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm good. Anyway, I don't really know. Nico Calad. We don't need to go... Okay, the uh, Café de la Chandelier is um, the central. Do, am I literally going all over Paris? Because when... Like, how big is Paris? Because there ain't no way you were walking... Oh, she's not far away from the police station. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what this one's called. Is that the Louvre? No, it's not the Louvre. Oh, that's, um, that could be the Louvre. No, that's not the Louvre. It's not the giant pyramid. Uh, this is the Notre Dame. I can't remember what this one's called. <clears throat> no, don't know that. Anyway, let's go to Rougerie. Oh, look at the little old lady. Goddamn little old lady. What a nice young man. Wait, no, no, George, back up, back up, back up. The woman was doing something with a pair of needles that couldn't be described as knitting. She was a cheery old soul, the kind you'd walk across the street to avoid. <laughs> well, we can talk to her, because she might have some oh, information hi. for us, George. Bonjour, she might be ignorant. Would you like me to foretell your future? Uh, no thanks. I'm very good. And it only takes a minute. Thanks all the same, but I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only uh -huh. takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. <laughs> well done, George. Well done, George. Okay. Um, what can you... I don't think you've got any information about this stuff. Unless you know you where Clown is the nose? No, monsieur. How do you not recognize a, no a, a fucking nose? Uh, how about this piece of fabric? Material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. Okay, so it's someone with money. What can how you about tell this me handkerchief about this with... Nothing. Okay, how about the... F how about Nicole Calade? I think she's behind me. Are the flowers for Okay, sale? what about this? Oui, monsieur. Okay. Ooh. I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. No? They are lilies, monsieur. Some people They're associate for death, them with death. Yikes. What about chrysanthemums? Thanks for telling me. What about anything, anything what else? What flowers do you have? Dahlias. What do they signify? Dahlias. Insecurity. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that's what that I was. don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about okay, the tall yellow ones? Those are iris. Daffodils? The flame of passion. Ooh. 
And the that's a little yellow? bit too much. Sensuality. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, I love George. George is so cool. Um, I've changed my mind. Uh, palm reading. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. My, oh my. What a surprise. Can you tell me anything I don't already know? Ten francs, please, my dear. Ten francs? That's a rip-off. Please yourself. Franks. Franks. Damn! Before the Euro kicked in. All right. How does fortune telling Fair routine enough. work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever wondered why <laughs> you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Some of us are born with a, a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. You know what I'm confused about? If we are in the central of Paris, I know a lot of people do speak English, but with what I know, they are very rude when it comes to people who speak English. Or maybe just the English tea speaking people, but they are very rude to tourists. Because we should learn that language when we go over there, and I do stick with that theory. So if I ever want to go somewhere, learn Can the you lingo! Really foretell the future? Only time will tell, monsieur. The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problem. But when I try you just to told me I'm going on a long journey. To me, that must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that, or I don't have a future. No, yours have a future. Do you know a young anyway, woman called about Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me, in the apartment block across the street. The door isn't locked, but you'll need to give it a gentle nudge. It sticks, ah. you see, because of the damp. The landlord said he'd fixed it before winter sets in. He's been saying that for three years. <laughs> How long has my oh, else can tell you lived here? Blood. A few months. She's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. Drafty oh, windows. God. Insufficient heating, it's a struggle to keep warm. The only reason I stay Jesus. is because the rent is cheap. Your young lady, she deserves better. Nice that you know who she is. Collard was a nice. successful photographer. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard her crying herself to sleep at night. That's awful. Bless now her. don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell her first thing this proud, if you ask me. Nah, it's French people for you. See you later. Okay. That's right. Not students for you, actually. You will. Interesting. Anything else we can have a go, Vivia? The vacant shop was sealed with a steel blind. He's very observant. I'll give him that. Ooh, is there something? The, the shop window you featured from a display there, of gowns and women's stuff. Can we have a gander? Like a close gander? It wasn't the style well, of the I'm looking over the here. shop that caught my eye, but the prices. The same amount of money would Jesus. be the starving family for the rest of their lives. I guess people who buy Jesus. that kind of stuff don't have a problem with their consciences. Alright. Uh, let's go inside the door. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, 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 I should see where Nicole is. Can we have a gander of that or not? The door not? was shabby and in need of a coat of paint. I couldn't imagine the Nothing to indicate. living here. Okay, fair enough then. There might Remembering be inside. The flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get in otherwise. Okay. Oh, I'll just walk in. Cool. I didn't look where her name were at all. Bonjour. I'm glad you could make it, monsieur. Please, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. He says George. <laughs> Not George. George. Come on, David. 
<laughs> so mm -hmm. David. And what have you been up to? Eh bien. I've been exploring the sewers beneath the cafe. The sewers beneath I the cafe. I thought I could smell something <laughs> bad. The clown used the sewer to escape and change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. What's more, I know where he hired the clown suit, too. He had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck! Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? I took my photographs to the editor, but he wasn't interested. Can you believe it? Wow. He told me to drop his story. But you're not about to do Don't that. Don't the story of a bombing? No. I am going to find out what's behind these killings. You know what I think? Killings? It's a conspiracy. The police in three oh different God. countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them oh? at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. That covers just about everyone. Interesting. So I can ask her to use her phone. Okay, what do you I know about Plantard, Nicole? For the newspaper, La Liberté, I had written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy and the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably Ooh. similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow, the clown must have known about our appointment. Ooh, that... That pushes. Okay, tell, tell me, me more about the clown's previous victim. Sorry if I'm speaking the too quietly. was Arnaud Belota, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines okay. in the post for slimming and diet boom. Imagine it. Millions of housewives literally beating their butts off. Was he killed for his money? No. He had no living relatives, and his fortune went to the orphanage where he grown up. The only witness in the case oh, was cute. his Filipino au pair. She swears he was led to his death by a snowman. Oh? The plot thickens. What, about the what else can you tell about this clown? Victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese green politician. He inherited Mata. his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. He was committed to dismantling Japan's automobile industry. I can't see him gaining much support with a loony policy like that. Yamada was a man of vision. He was years ahead of his time. If you say so. Okay. How did he die? At the end, or should I say, flipper of a giant emperor penguin. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. You know, I hate to admit it. Like a for a scary joke. Is scary. And I'll tell you what, I won't be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. <laughs> I am too. This story Why is get over a, a clown a or a premature death? Okay, what you about speak very what good about English you, Nicole? French girl. Thanks. You speak very good English from America. <laughs> May I use your telephone? Sure, go ahead. We don't need to use Thanks. Can I talk to me again now? I'm here. Oh well, we've got her thing. Might have to go there. Can we talk to Todrick while she's on? Hello? Shall we see this? He? Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? Forget it. Okay, got nothing to say to you still. Forget it. <laughs> okay. Why did I come here? I found a right. piece of Fabric. material near the cafe. When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George, it's an enlargement I made. Can we have a gander? Ooh! Checkered pants. The Wait, same what? material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his left cheek. A scar. Is in a scar? the shape of a horseshoe. Oh, a crescent moon. Yeah, we'll call it a horseshoe, though. Crescent moon sounds more makes sense. Okay. All right. We've expanded. How about I found this dirty handkerchief with paint all over it? Oh, bro, that's disgusting, Josh. Disgusting, Josh. <laughs> I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use. Or clowns. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. <laughs> 
I guess that's not I what we show her then. How about this clown note? In the sewer. We've not actually done anything today, we just booked people. It has La Rise du Monde printed inside it. The laughing stock oh. of the world. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the okay. owner remembers who hired the clown costume. Why don't you put it on? Maybe you know? not, though. No way am I wearing this. I'd look really stupid. Besides, he might have had a cold. Yet again, you picked up his tissue and started flashing around to everybody, George. Yeah, that makes tell sense. Me what about, about yourself? Okay, what about oh, there is not much to tell. Well, how did you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought my first camera. I was eight and my parents are just split up. Okay. He was you like, with your father? <laughs> yes, my mother went off with her new boyfriend. I can't mind. Boo! Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a Cute. plane crash. Oh, no! I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. You were 12. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted I should study art. That's why I went to college. You went to an art college? Okay. Uh, How let's put a little you pause on that this conversation. Photograph of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. Do you want this photograph back? No, you keep it. I can always make another print. Do you want this photograph back? No, you keep it. Okay. I can always make another print. Okay. Did you learn about Nothing photography that. at college? Oh God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were built what for you everything in college, paint, canvas, paper. Most of my <laughs> year turned to it's minimalism. Expensive. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time Yeesh. I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Jesus. Oh, no. Do you have a boyfriend? That's none of your business. Oh. Shut down in your prime, Josh. Can I talk yeah, to the dude and phone? explain? Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. I may be able to... Okay. I've got an achievement for something. What's this for? Paris in the fall. Join forces with the Parisian. Okay. Hello? Who is this? It's George Stobart again. What now? I you make know the a picture. suit for a man with a scar on his face? A scar in the shape of a crescent moon? Maybe. Maybe not. Tell me where I can find him and I'll leave you alone. And if I don't, I won't leave you alone. I can't tell you anything <laughs> unless you give me his name. Fuck. Do you know where I can find the guy with the scar? I told you. Without the name, I can't help you. Thanks for nothing. I guess we can ask around that. Alright. Thank you, Nico, for your help, my lady. I'm going back out to search it for the time for me to go. Where? Well, I guess I could visit the costume shop. Good idea. Bye, Nicole. See you soon, girl. I don't remember much about this game. I remember a goat and I remember a pub. A truck. A truck. Can I show her the picture? I might be able to get somewhere around with it oh, now. Hi. Like, ask around a bit. There's a few people. Hello, my handsome Hello, monsieur. friend. Hello. Do you know anything you about this dude? recognize the man in this photograph? Mm, what a hunk. He's a killer. I that is can see that. His eyes say it all. Well, if you're a psychic, can you tell Do me his you name? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, dear. Okay. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. We have to go on a hunt. I might go back to where we came from, just to go see if anyone can tell me his name. And then go from there. Although, the clown. Ah, Alvis de Mondeur. Le poste de police. I could go there, but I don't want to take some things off me. Uh, let's go back to Café de la Chaine de la Vidale. Uh oh, are you going to be happy, unhappy with me, my good sir? Uh, first of all, I'm going to knock on this door and then talk to you. And you can tell me off because I left your station alone. <laughs> He's back, though. 
Hello, Hello monsieur. Oh, yes. oh, inspector. Yes, inspector. Do you know do you recognize this the man? man in this photograph? Yes, I do. It's that villain I told you about. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, I do. It's that villain I told you about. <sighs> He's not telling me any more information. I have to be going. God's sake. If there's Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. Right, don't overhear this conversation with me and this pickaxe man, because he's going to tell me off for um, <laughs> leaving his thing away. Hello! The muscular workman wore a morose expression, like a silent warning to leave him to get on with his job. Oh, that's what he said before, but he's going to tell me off for leaving his station, ain't he? Hey, you! What do you want now? Do you Look, know I the clown man? But surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already! I didn't see a thing! He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. <laughs> okay. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? I guess not. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? Yes, I did. The cafe was blown up. The clown killed the old man? That's right. Blew him up with a bomb concealed in his squeeze box. Now, why did he go to the bother of dressing up like a clown? Who can unravel the tangled logic of a killer's mind? I guess it's some deep-seated psychological need. Or just plain showmanship. All right. Do you know Do about you this man in the photo? The man in this photograph. No, I don't. Okay, that's I enough from go. you then, Mister. Don't let me keep you. That sounded a bit weird. Don't let me keep you. The information he did not give was very peculiar. <sighs> hey, Sergeant Lusso, Russo, Sergeant, whatever your name is. Sergeant Moo? You are the inspector. Go on, monsieur. What can you tell me you about this guy? the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown. He's taking off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous eyes. Mm. Hardly likely to get him convicted. You are so later, dumb. Sergeant. You are so goddamn stupid. Anyway, I'm going to walk over here now, and we're going to save the game. Because we won't be able to return to this until after we've done Silent Hill 2 next week. So, we'll leave that there for this video. How do I save the game? Interesting. Oh, can I... I know how to walk. I want to walk my way. You can go your own way. Oh my god. That's what it used to look like? No fucking way. Are you serious? It can't have done. Oh my god. Wow. Holy fucking crap. That looks so good. I am honestly impressed. Holy crap. Okay. Can I save... Oh, I can look at the photograph like this. Oh, I can combine it with things. Of course I can. Uh, I don't know how to save the game. Is it in menu options? It is! <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to leave that there for today with this video of Broken Sword. No, I did not know that this was a thing, okay? Because that is absolutely... Look at the chair. The chair is different. The spike things are different. The archway, different. The tree has moved so you can see. Holy crap. They have... Im I am impressed. Like, I never knew it looked that like that. 
To me, it's always looked like this. It just looks more modern. It's like, oh, it looks the same. But obviously, it's more refined. But I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going. Okay, right. I'll get. I'll let you go with the day. I won't be mesmerized by the fucking quality. Like they've added more details. Ah, I'm, enough of that. I will leave that there for now. And as always, this is Rixalite signing out. So, let's choose the music somehow. <laughs>